Okay, now Nicolas Chevalier, this work, the Parker River Waterfall, um, this uh, was painted in 1862. And again, this is very much about how the artists were seeking out these beautiful um, locations, these places that, uh, that in many ways had been untouched by, by humans. Very different to the previous work of the Von Gerard in Ballarat and Old Ballarat. This is a real location, obviously, that uh, the artist um, Nicolas Chevalier um, was interested in, in painting. And it's, uh, it's, it's also interesting because he and Von Gerard were friends, but, and they went, um, which was very much the case with a lot of these artists. They would go on these field trips, explore, they were explorers. And indeed, many of the artists did go with explorers with si on scientific explorations. That's an important point, the interconnectedness between art and science, which is kind of relating to your area of study too. Uh, but getting back to the painting, Parker River Waterfall, uh, Von Gerard and Chevalier were looking for this beautiful location. They'd heard about it and they were wanting to capture it. So they were, they were on a field trip. They'd almost given up. They couldn't find it. So they sat down and had a break and they're, they're sitting and then they could actually hear the waterfall. And that kind of, um, they found it. And then of course they sketched it. Chevalier actually turned it into this large scale work, a beautiful work. This is just such an extraordinary work that, uh, you know, you can sense that kind of untouched landscape, okay? And again, these paintings were, were shown in, in galleries in, in Melbourne, uh, at the National Gallery of Victoria and other galleries. And, um, and, you know, and people were in awe at the beauty of Australia. These were informing, these were really, really important in terms of informing the public too about the early views. Now sure, photography was well and truly invented at that stage, but you didn't have portable cameras going to these locations. So the role of the, of the artist is not to be underestimated. So really very important. Uh, some of these views, sure, they could be seen as a bit romanticised as well, um, uh, remembering that, that these artists trained in and were influenced by the, um, the European schools of romanticism, okay, the, which is really about the, the um, spiritual connection to, to the land and nature. Okay, so that was very much inherent in these works as well, and that's an important point to remember. But um, I love working with this painting with young children too. They actually love it. And I sometimes ask them to imagine that they're in the painting. Where would they be? What would they be sensing? Okay. okay. Um, what would it smell like? What would it feel like? You know, where would you be positioned? All that sort of thing. It's interesting too sometimes to just do that, to kind of imagine that, that you're in the scene. And, um, and, and to describe that to a friend, perhaps. Okay, so we'll leave that work.